If you own an Alenco DX SR9, chances are you've seen this particular configuration before. It is the 24th selection of the built-in menu area. However, the instruction manual is not very specific on how this particular configuration is supposed to work. Well, I've taken the time and figured it out. So, stay tuned. Well, let's get right to it. Press and hold the function button for at least one second. That will take you to the menu section of this machine. The first setting is the double notch here shown. That is the very first setting of the menu area. There are two up and down buttons to the lower right of the machine. Scroll upwards 24 times and it will take you here. Now we are ready to go. Menu setting 24 on your Lanko gives you access to three buttons, three different settings. Number one right here, the S, of course, is for the squelch. I think that everyone knows what squelch does. Okay. The button here in the middle, RT. RT is for receive independent of transmit. In other words, Using the RT knob, it shifts the frequency in fine increments up or down while your transmit frequency remains the same. And lastly, here, the IF, intermediate frequency. Now, when this knob is turned, the transceiver is slightly shifted to tune in slightly off frequency signals. The beauty of this particular menu uh, section is all three of these buttons are interchangeable. Why would I want to do that? Well, if you notice the IF button is here and it's right next to this, this knob. The only way to actually use it without turning the knob is with your left hand and I happen to be right handed. so. Turning the knob here shifts, actually shifts the button. Now the IF, the intermediate frequency knob is controlled here, see? The receive independent of transmit is here and the squelch is now controlled right here in the middle. Let's take it a step further. Turn it again. Aha! Now look where the squelch is. The, the intermediate frequency knob is still here on the far left. Now the receive independent of transmit button is here in the middle and the squelch is right here. This is why I prefer it, because like a lot of other people, I set the squelch and forget it. It's set. These two knobs may require a lot of tuning in order to accurately receive or communicate when it comes to uh, some signals that are not very, very strong or maybe slightly off frequency a bit, and they're both away from the big wheel. Set the squelch and forget it. And now you have access to these two knobs without making any contact with the big wheel here. Turn it again. IF here on the end, squelch in the middle, RT. The uh, receive independent of transmit right there on the left. However you want to do it. 
So that's how it works. But I think it's pretty useful. And if you're like me, you're probably going to want to store your squelch right here on the very end. Set it and forget it and have access to the receive independent transmit and the intermediate frequency buttons. So, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that I've been able to help you. Pretty interesting though. Thank you.